Thieves once again targeting expensive cars parked outside high-end restaurants in downtown D.C. The latest crime caught on camera across the street from the convention center Saturday night. This time, the bandits took the actual valet stand, not just the keys. Bob Barnard is there with the story and, and more of the video recorded by, I would say, Bob, a pretty brave passerby. Yeah, that's right, Jeanette and Steve. We're uh, at 7th and K Streets here in the Mount Vernon area of downtown, and this is that valet stand, and it's it's on wheels, but it is heavy. Obviously, what's valuable is the, the keys that are inside there, but for some reason, the bandits here Saturday night decided to take this entire valet stand, and we can show you more of the video, which was posted on social media. This is a guy who kind of walked up on this, and you see there are two men who are taking this thing and trying to stick it into a car. Uh, they were successful in that regard, got into the car, and then abandoned it about a half mile up uh, the street here. This was at 5th and P Streets. Um, a guy named Paul Courtesy, uh, act, uh, uh, Courtney, actually, saw this there and uh, took a photo. Obviously, the restaurant retrieved the, uh, the box. Uh, it's uh, with Guardian Parking Management Services. They got it back here. But again, uh, not only was uh, the, the valet stand stolen, but a woman says her keys were stolen as well. Not sure about her car, but her keys were stolen. And if this sounds familiar, it has happened at least three times before here in the downtown area. Here's one of them. This was on New Year's Day outside Ruth's Chris on the West End. These are guys who not only steal two cars, but attack a valet there. Um, and one of the cars, a Mercedes, was found abandoned and torched in Prince George's County not long after that. One of the people who had his uh, keys stolen uh, that night on New Year's was Michael Lawson. We've spoken to him. Had I known that that happened the first time and known that this was the second time it's happened, I, I don't know. I got a, I don't know. I got mixed emotions about it. The food was delicious. The service was great. But the end all be all was just terrible. Michael had uh, not only his Toyota, but Mercedes keys on the chain, which he had to replace for about $1,200. His was stolen on New Year's Day. Uh, thieves targeted the valet stand outside that Ruth's Chris on Christmas Day as well. And then uh, Mastro's Steakhouse here in downtown as well has been targeted by these thieves. Not sure, guys, if it's the same people. Obviously, they're after the keys. In this case, uh, over the weekend, they took the whole valet stand. We're not sure, again, if any of the cars whose keys were in here were stolen as well. All right, Bob, thank you.